first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Chakdash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. And he is. Yahweh Shai is the name of his son. It means he is who saves, or he who saves. Bah is the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to just give a quick talk about mixing wines. Before I was going through the scriptures, but now I'm just going to talk about mixing wines. Mixing wines in scripture is people who mix up their philosophies. You know, I was talking to um, a woman the other day and she said, is it, I believe in the universe and I kind of take bits from the Bible that I agree with and things that sit right with me. And other bits I don't take. And I take a little bit from uh, Buddhism because I think that's really cool. And that's just going to lead to confusion. You know, that I, I was just listening to that. I was like, you can't really do that because then it's about you, you know. And that brings me on to the first. Because uh, uh, what came out to me is that I remember a scripture on mixing wine. So I, I searched it through. I don't always remember all the scriptures, but. In this day and age, there's no excuse because you can search. You can search. I just searched mixing wines and it came up Proverbs 23. And I started hitting it from the top, you know, just to get the context, you know. And uh, one of the things it says uh, in Proverbs 23, uh, um, and verse 5, Will thou set eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle towards heaven. Eat not the bread of him that have an evil eye. Now, remember that Yahweh Shai said, you know, you should have a single eye. And if your eye be single, well, I'm butchering it, then it's good. But if your eye be evil, then it's bad, basically. And evil doesn't just mean, I mean, does mean bad. You know, if you if you have bad, if you have an eye for bad things, if you're drawn towards bad things, but it's also the difference of being single. You know, it's like you're distracted. You're looking at lots of different things. You're you're distracted by the world. You're in the world. You're carnal. You know, you're not spiritual. Your eyes not solely fixed on you. How shy? So the evil in this sense is the opposite of being single, of being focused, of being devoted, of being, um, you know, of of having only one influence. Um. So you shouldn't even eat the bread of someone who has an evil eye. So if you're, if you shouldn't be chilling, with, <laughs> you shouldn't be chilling with people that you know, and 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 having you know breaking bread, basically with with people that are carnal, straight, straight. You shouldn't, and you definitely shouldn't be taking things from them. Um, six. Eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you're thinking all over the place, if you're thinking left, right and centre, if you're thinking, oh, a little bit of Buddhism, yeah, I don't believe in God, but I believe in Mother Nature, or I believe in karma, and yeah, well, I like this bit of the Bible, that shall not kill, but it's alright to do this, you know, I still eat pork. You're confused, you know. Um... And so would you, so is, you know, as he thinks, so is his heart. So that's what your mind is going to be, your labia. Your mind was going to be the same as how you're thinking. And if your mind, uh, if, you're, if, you, if you're thinking all these different things going in different directions, your mind is going to be confused. Your mind is going to be focused. You're going to be a scatterbrain. You're going to be easily led, easily deceived. Um, The morsel which thou shalt has eaten, thou shalt vomit up and lose thy sweet words. So it's going to come back on you. Um. So, yeah, that's just a that's just a quick hit. Actually, there was just a little bit more that I wanted to say. There was something about that don't desire riches. Yeah. So that's uh, verse four. I just kind of missed it because I came in on verse five. Uh, Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. It's not about you. It's not about what you think about what you feel and you know like to be honest I've been guilty of doing that because I've been listening to a number of different camps you know I've been listening to WFI um, mainly WFI 
generally and GMS. But I think now, I've as I'm getting more and more into the scriptures and as I'm learning more, it's got to be straight GMS. Because even in, in that, even though I'm trying my best not to be carnal and be of the world, even within the camps, they've got different doctrines. And I can't be mixing my wine. So let's go to, uh, just to finish off, verse 30. And this is the thing about my wine. Um, no, let's go into 27, actually, because this is deep. 27, for a whore is a deep ditch and a strange wimp woman, a narrow pit. You know, a narrow, or uh, I wish I had um, my sword, in, actually, in the moment, because I now could look up narrow. But I feel like narrow being like steep. But I'm not sure, so I ain't going to say that. But it's a deep ditch. Let's just say it's a deep ditch. We know what deep means, right? And it's easy to fall in and it's hard to get out. This is what we're... This is the the, the vibe. And we, we look at a whore. Whores are often associated with fornication. And fornication is often... You know, this fornication can be physical when you sin. You know, you do all sorts of weird sexual practices. But it can also be spiritual. You know, and whoring about is going after all these different doctrines, drinking all these different wines, getting into all these different uh, philosophies. You know, um, the whore of Babylon is said to be drunk on the wine of the of the blood of the saints. You know, it's it's they're all kind of metaphorical. You know, and you have to see things with a spiritual eye. Twenty seven, twenty eight. She also lies in wait as for prey and increases the transgressions among men. You know, the whore here is not just the physical whore. It's, it is the philosophies, the fornication with different spiritualities, different different ideologies, different poli you know, policies. Um, who has woe? And this is going and, and and you'll see it now. Now in the next two verses, who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has contentions? Who has babbling? Who's confused? Who has wounds without cause? Who has the redness of the eyes? They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek Wix, Wix my wine, you know? So the people that, you know, aren't drinking, like tarry long at the wine is people that are like taking their time, you know, with lots of different wines, seeking mixed wines, you know? Uh, and it all ties up. If you see things with a spiritual eye, you know, so don't mix your wines, uh, Double honours to all the elders and apostles of GMS. A big shout out to all the Akim um, following. Don't mix your wine. Choose a camp. Choose a camp. I ain't part of GMS. You know, I ain't part of GMS. But even if you're not part of GMS, choose who you're listening to. You might want to listen to a few different people to start off with. But at some point, you're going to need to fix down, sit, sit down and, and decide. And decide which which uh wine you're drinking you know I, I i not mix it anymore with that i'm gonna um shut off and say shallow one